All right, guys, so today we are going to be checking out Redbud. We have an exclusive look here at it from the AMA Pro Motocross uh, Championship DLC in MX versus ATV All Out. Now, uh, big thanks to Rainbow Studios for this opportunity. And what I have done, I have been on the track a little bit here. So what I want to do is free ride it and just kind of explore the map a bit, then jump into a race because uh, it has all the bells and whistles on it. Then it really uh, changes the feel of it and then probably mess around a little bit in first person. So let's jump into this and check out Redbud. Now I have been practicing. I am uh, trying to get the best lap I can live here without messing it up too much because the track is so authentic. They did such a great job at uh, recreating it in the game. Now here we should be good. Yeah, you don't really have to preload anything. If you just hit everything fairly decent, you can pretty much not preload anything on the track. Oh man, sure as I say that. We'll have to preload this, but you don't have to. Really the only jump that you have to preload, or I feel like you probably should be preloading, is the Rocco's Leap. But I mean, they have the... It has the roughness to it. It has the... They have some uh, pre-made ruts here in the corner. This table, see, you don't really have to preload. I know we came up a bit short, but if you hit it better than me or were more uh, focused or more in try-hard mode, you could definitely hit that section without a preload. Same with this. Super easy. Grab this inside. Oh, yeah. Now, here we go. We're getting to it. You know what's coming. Inside, inside, inside. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, easy. Wasn't sure we were going to get that. I kind of had a hiccup in that corner. And we overjumped this a bit much. Whoa. Whoa. So, authenticity is... It's Redbud, man. It really is Redbud. They got all the little details down, even the scenery, not just the track. It feels like you're just... Uh, uh, running a practice day at Redbud right now, and we will do a race just to show you the difference. I mean, it, it really does kind of change how it feels, but uh, really, really good job. Only thing I wish maybe, well, let's see if we can get this first. We didn't get a good enough run there, but you you can do it. You can get over that without preloading. Uh, the only thing I feel like they could have added is maybe a few more rut choices. I mean... Typically on a race day, you would have like, you know, like 20 different ruts in some of these corners. I mean, that might have made it a little bit annoying to play. So I maybe wish they would have added, you know, like three or four, three or four different uh, ruts in each corner as pre-made. I mean, the track is going to deform. It has terrain deformation. And if you're playing with your friends or you do like a 15 lap moto or something, I mean, it is going to break down. I don't know. That's just, it's just a small thing. But overall, the roughness of it, the layout of it, every little microscopic detail is really, really good. All right, we're going to take the outside this time. Still have to preload. Oh, and just, just right. Man, they made that really, really good. The scaling of it is really good for how the game works. The scaling of it... It looks good. It doesn't feel like it's, uh, I mean, I've never rode Redbud, okay? So I don't know. For you guys that are watching that might have rode, uh, ride Redbud, you can get a little more, uh, detailed with it. But for me, at least, just from a watching standpoint and now playing in the game, I feel like it's scaled very well. It might not be perfect, but it, it feels right. It feels right for the way the game plays and, uh, it just... Overall, scaling really good, feels good, looks good very authentic. I'm going to try and get this better. No preload. Super easy. Super easy to get that. So, yes, this is Redbud. I think we're probably going to cut to... What was I going to say? Some first person action. And then uh, to wrap up the video, we will switch to a race because you got to see that too. All right, so we're jumping over into some first person here. Now, 
I'm not very good at first person, but I will try my best because it is fun. Really enjoy the first person. Kind of get more of an authentic feel here around Redbud. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm all over the place now. Oh, we're good. Dang, so far we're doing smooth. I really want to get Larocco's Leap. Actually, in first person, you can see there are a few other ruts there. They're not as uh, noticeable, but in first person, at least you can see them. A little bit short there. Yeah, I mean, this corner is a bit smooth, but. Oh my gosh, that was sick. All right, guys, it's coming up. LaRocco's Leap, baby. Oh, there was another rut for me. So there was actually three there. Oh, that is sick. Ooh. You hop over this? Yeah. And there's a lap. So that is uh, Redbud in first person. We are going to switch over and do a race here so you can really see the, uh, you know, get the, the full experience here of race day at Redbud in MX vs. ATV All Out. All right, it's race day, baby. Now, I did turn the AI way, 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 way down because I don't feel like fighting with them right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, it feels uh, it feels a lot different, I think, when you go into the race. It feels a lot different. Everything's there. I think I said it. All the bells and whistles. Really, really, really sweet. I love it. I really, really, oh, no. I really love it. Come on, I want to get halfway decent laps in. If you don't, I mean, there's you really have to find the smooth line because uh, there you saw we hit a little kicker. And it kind of messed us up for that and we had to preload. Oh yeah, we have a huge lead. Could have made the AI a little bit tougher, but I just didn't feel like bouncing around off of them. So we turned it way, way, way down. Yeah, we have way too big of a lead. Oh man, that's so sick. In free ride all the way to the right, there was nothing there, nothing. And now you can see uh, all the RVs and all the people and the tents and... Looks like there's some barbecues going on. Really, really sick. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Oh, yeah. Throwing it sideways for the fans. Grab that inside rut there. And then the finish line. There we go. We got a 45 second lead. We're blowing them away. It's never been done before. 45 second lead on the first lap. Oh, this is sick. The atmosphere, the environment is, you know, I always, I'm always like, you know, I don't, you know, I'm always like, I don't really care about environment, you know, as long as the track's good, that's the main thing, and yeah, I still stand by that, but this is so, so sick. All the people on the hillside there. Oh my gosh, why am I having so much trouble with that? Little case, not that bad. We have factory suspension. We are good to go. Yeah, look, here you can see it. The AI's uh, really tearing it up there. So you're starting to see, just after one lap, how much uh, terrain deformation we're getting. Just after one lap, so be curious to see, you know, it probably hits a point where it can't 
rough up much more than it already is or rut up more, but uh, I don't know. Looks like they're taking the outside. But we'll stick to the inside. Get through this. We are about to lap somebody. See, are they taking the inside or the outside here? Oh my gosh, a little bit short. And boom, we're lapping you, son. You ain't even taking the, the, oh my gosh, they're going so slow. Holy moly. Get out of the way. Yeah, I believe we just slapped everybody. Oh no, not yet. We got one more. And there you go. So this is, sorry, I was just in the moment, just, just really enjoying it and soaking it up. This is really, really good stuff. Uh, here is your uh, early first exclusive look at Redbud. And uh, yeah, so you guys girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. I believe this DLC is releasing on the 23rd. Yes, the 23rd of August for 15 bucks, 14.99. And you will get uh, four tracks right away. You'll get this, Washougal, Spring Creek, Loretta Lens, and then uh, the remaining, I believe three tracks are going to be releasing sometime the week of their actual live event so uh be on the lookout for that but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately and until the next video take it easy uh that's kind of cool but it doesn't uh, appear that there's a whole lot of i mean right here basically this is the boundary these uh, white fence posts. You can't really go past that. Now I will keep kind of uh, creeping around the outside here. And uh, to make sure. But yeah, for sure these fence posts are the, the boundary. It would be cool if you go out here. But you can't. Just for the sake of exploring. Now can you, no, definitely the white posts can't really go on that side of them. Not really. Now here's another culvert. And we do the same thing here. These culverts, is a, it's just a nice touch. But uh, you can't really go anywhere outside of it. Now, I, I just kind of wanted to go over that to show you. I forgot to, when we were free riding earlier, I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go explore the outside. And then I just kind of went to first person and forgot about it. But yeah, you, there's not, you, there's not a whole lot you can explore outside of the track, but still really cool. I mean, that's not, I don't feel like that's a, a problem. What is this? What if this is real? Or not. Rainbow. No, I don't believe that's real. I feel like that's fake. Because it has Rainbow Studios logo there. I feel like this is fake. If you go to Redbud, let me know. Uh, but I don't believe that is real. So, cool. Just, uh... I mean, you can't really free ride a whole lot, but... You can kind of creep in between parts of the track through the culverts, and it throws you right into first person right away. That's kind of a nice touch. And the white fence posts are basically the boundaries. So there you go. I think I already ended the video one time, but uh, in case I didn't, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video.
Take it easy.